How's it going, guys? <laughs> it's Nate. I'm back with another reaction. Today I'm reacting to... What am I reacting to? Hugo Helmick. Wild. I do not know who Hugo Helmick is. This is my first reaction to him at all. So, seeing that he has two, almost 2.5 million videos, views on this video, um, I'm excited to see what he's got, what he's, what, 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 who he is. I mean, this is a old video. This is a couple years old. So, you know, um, gotta check it out. Gotta see what I, have been missing or not let's check it out let's see what we got European, possibly, um, just from the looks of where he is, at least. Um, have to let me know the history on him, you peeps who already know. Um, he, I like his voice, his style. I mean, it's it's pretty mainstream sounding, um, but also there was a little vocal part in there where I was like, Ooh, that was different. That was cool. Uh, so, so I mean, hey, we're, I mean, we're only forty seconds in.
<laughs> Oof. So, uh, I would say that is very mainstream, uh, basic, just music. Just kind of what you just hear on the radio every day. Um, nothing spectacular, nothing super original. Um, I mean, he seems like a cool, cool guy. Like, uh, it seems like he's making it a little bit, and, and that's awesome, and I always celebrate that. But, but, and I think I have more of a taste towards super original artists that are just, that probably aren't usually even that big or won't get that big because mainstream won't have them. Their lyrics are too, have too much depth. Um, they're, but it's also crazy because recently there's been some artists that are incredibly original and extremely talented actually going mainstream with songs that have great depth and meaning so so it's kind of an interesting interesting thing to see and, and an interesting dynamic in the mainstream culturally I think that we are becoming how shall I put this I think more sophisticated in the mainstream um, the fact that say Joe Rogan is the number one podcast number one podcaster and his shows are three hours long. That means people are watching three hours of content. That's attention span. That's in-depth thought and and willing to see different perspectives and different views. And, and that's huge. And that's amazing. And that's same with these artists that I feel like are coming out and becoming huge and mainstream that have in, extremely in-depth lyrics. Um, complex musical pieces, as well as uh, um, original, different content, like Aurora, like 21 Pilots, like NF. Um, a lot of these artists that have really in-depth lyrics, they're not just putting out, like this, this is love, this is just another love song, and it's quite basic, basic beat, basic song structure of just the chorus, verse, chorus, verse, bridge i mean very basic um whereas these artists are switching it up and doing things different um putting their songs musically together different and uh and the fact that that's becoming more mainstream is is awesome billy billy eilish incredible original artist that her her lyrics have such depth and people are vibing with it and and she's huge um, and I feel like people that are shallow and and whatever are more more not not huge but more being pushed out of the limelight and I love that that means overall quality of art is going up which which if you actually study and think about it that actually means society we're getting better as a society, which is kind of a cool thought, um, actually, that I hadn't thought about until just now, um, because if art gets better, that means us as a society are actually getting better and being more healthy, so that's, so that's interesting, um, yeah, that's, that's awesome, I mean, it's a cool song, it's, 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 it's fun, upbeat, had a couple little vocal riffs and stuff in it that were, were cool, um, but yeah, no, I mean, nothing I would add to my playlist or really, it's nothing that's going to be remembered. Um, that's the thing. So yeah, uh, and, and, and I mean, not to go off on a tangent, but that's what art is about is to be remembered and is actually to propel us into the, into the neck, into the future. That's what it is. That's what art does. Um, pull us into the future. So, so yeah, art like this will be forgotten, but but, uh, yeah, that's it, I guess. And for all I know, I mean, Hugo, he might, he might be a great artist that this was maybe one of his first songs. You know, th th there's lots of factors. Uh, but yeah, that song for sure is uh, very mainstream, basic. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad by any means, 
Um, it's not bad music. It, it was cool, but yeah, basic. That's, that's the word. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you have any suggestions, drop them down in the comments. I would love to see what you guys are watching and check it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. I get to see the thumbs up. Yeah. Just uh, click it. I've got like two minutes of text footage just telling you to subscribe.